Hello guys and welcome to another video. Before we start I just want to mention that the source code will be available for download on my blog page. Today we are going to demonstrate how to do anomaly detection with KMIS. As a project example we will analyze the CPU workload over time. The idea behind this concept is to learn the normal CPU usage patterns with KMIS and everything else outside of those known patterns we will consider as anomaly. The first step in our process is to split the waveform into overlapping segments of 5 seconds with the section of the original data sample sliding along by two samples each time. We will record our CPU usage for 60 seconds. I'm going to set the segment length to 5 seconds and the slide length to 2. This application now is going to record my CPU usage for 60 seconds. I am going to open a couple of files and folders. Now let's wait for it to finish. Next, we're going to apply a window function on each segment. That window function actually represents the first half of a sine wave. This is how it looks like. Next, we are going to extract all waveform segments and these segments are what I will consider a normal CPU usage and I am going to train k-means to recognize them. As you can see, we have 28 segments. Let's view the first one. Now let's view the first one but with the window function applied on it. Next, I am going to train k-means. Okay, K-means is done training, now let's test it. Okay, so we have the original segment, then we have the window segment, that actually is the original segment multiplied by the window function. And this is what we get. The near centroid graph is actually what K-means proposed. This is good. Now let's analyze the function. What we can see is actually the error is pretty low. Now we are going to record for another 60 seconds, but this time I'm going to introduce an anomaly to the CPU usage waveform. I'm just going to open Chrome web browser. As you can see, we have a spike. We're going to wait for it to finish. Then we are going to analyze this waveform. Okay. What you can notice here is that the error function is pretty low for forms that KMIS can actually recognize. This spike right here is not recognized and we can consider it as anomaly. Thank you for watching.